Hey there, welcome to Women Blazing Trails. My name is Eva, and today we are talking about get your shit together. So I just finished, uh, wrapped up a little uh, interview for a summit that I'm um, part of. Super, super exciting. And I realized when I was talking to the host, I realized that uh, as we were talking to each, with each other, um, that uh, the common theme, like a lot of what happens to women over 50 or even you know, maybe 40-ish, 45, whatever, right into over 60 is that we have all these big plans and we have all these big ideas and we and big dreams and big goals but we have we also along with all these big ideas dreams and goals and plans we also have all these excuses and fears that squash all our big dreams and goals and plans so we were talking about how I'm kind of a no bullshit kind of person and uh, the reason why I am like that, I don't, like, I don't lick your wounds. I don't go, oh, you poor thing. Let's do this instead. That's okay. Don't do anything today. I'm not that girl. <laughs> like, I'm not that girl. And when I was going through my really, really hard time in life, I didn't, like, I thrived on people that were doing that for me until I realized how pathetic it was and how pathetic I sounded whining about my problems all the time when I realized I'm in control of my life and I can take care of my own problems and I'm an adult and I should be able to fix my problems and not have people lick my wounds all the time. So it was kind of like, it was almost like a grown up moment, if you will. Like I kind of grew up, like I kind of, it hit me, it was like, you know what, Eva, this is your life where you are right now, you created this result. And that's a hard pill to swallow. Because I don't want to be I didn't create that this isn't the life I asked for. Well, I kind of did because all of my choices, everything I did in my life, led me to where I was when I was 51 years old hit rock bottom had no money, just left an abusive relationship, didn't uh, closed up a salon, I had didn't have a job I had nothing. Everything that I did in my entire life led me to that point right there. And it was a defining moment for me. I was like, okay, I could either stay here in rock bottom and just let the sludge so suck me in and never come out, or I can be a big girl. I could be a grown up and start doing things like start making some changes, scary changes, but I could start making some changes in my life and take ownership and take responsibility for my life. Everything, let's take the abusive relationship. That's just for an example. I had the choice. We were together for almost eight, almost eight years at the, at the three month mark. He had already lied to me about something. It was ridiculous. And I should, I should have dumped him right then and there. I could have left his sorry ass. I could have dumped him, but I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to hang on. And I hung on for very selfish. I hung on for very bad reasons. My choice. I chose to hang on to something that I already knew was toxic. I already knew it was toxic, but I hung on. So, and I hung on for eight more years, eight years after that. So that was, that was my choice. I did that. Anyway, that was just an example. I just wanted to throw that out there for you. So it's up to us when we get to a certain part, part in our life. And I feel like many midlife women were here because either we maybe we're divorced, maybe we're widowed, uh, recently separated. Maybe you were never married and didn't have kids. I don't know whatever the situation is in your life. But here we are, we're 50 something and we kind of go, well, the first part of my life sucked <laughs> like that. What was that was bullshit or whatever it was. I mean, I'm sure a lot of us went through a lot of bullshit, but here we are today. Here I am at 53, let's say 53. I mean, I'm not, but let's say here we are at 53. Where do I want to go from here? So you have all these ideas, but then you also have all these excuses that match these ideas. Oh, well, I think I want to travel. Well, I don't have any money. I wanted to travel. I didn't have any money. I figured out how to get money so I could travel. It's you just do it. You figure it out. I'm in a relationship right now, but I don't, maybe you're, maybe you're married right now and you want to leave your husband. I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I, I can't, I don't have any money. Leave your husband. The money will come. 
And I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's exactly what happened in my situation. I left, when I left my relationship, I didn't even have a job. I had just declared bankruptcy, zero. I had nothing to my name. I figured it out. You figure it out. You know, we're smart. We're not dumb people. We are all very smart. And we know the answers. This, you know, this is the thing. We already know the answers. Like, I'm going to say 99.999%. That's a high, that's a high percent. We already know the answer. We already know what we need to do. We already know what we have to do, but we don't. And you know why? Because we're too afraid. Fear. No, we don't know how. We're too dumb. We don't have any money. We're too stupid. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. And fear will stop you and keep you there. So I need you. So this is what I this is what I need you to do. I'm gonna I want to put you up to a little bit of a challenge. And I love doing this, just giving you little challenges because I want you to shit or get off the pot. Like it's time. Like I I want you to stop whining and I want you to stop complaining and I want you to stop going, oh, poor me. Oh, my life is so bad. Oh, I can't. Everything is so horrible. I, I want you to stop doing that because it's ridiculous. I want you to take just one thing, one thing that you know that you really, really, really need to change in your life. Just one thing, just one, one thing. And I want you to write it out on a piece of paper. Maybe you need to change. Maybe you need to make more money. Maybe you need to change jobs. I don't know, whatever your thing is. I want you to write out one thing on a piece of paper. And then I want you to figure out how you can achieve it. How how do I do this? Let's say you need more money. Okay, figure it out. How am I going to get more money? Let's say you want $2,000 to go on a trip. Figure it out. How am I going to get $2,000 to go on a trip? figure it out. That's what I want you to do. I want you to figure it out. And you'll see like something that you really, like, I want you to write on that piece of paper, something that you really, really, really fucking want. And I want you to come up with some answers, some solutions, not excuses. We're not using excuses anymore because excuses are just bullshit. We are coming up now. We are going to make a plan. We are coming up with solid answers and solutions to our problem. And we're going to figure this shit out because it's time that you figured your shit out. And it's time that you stopped complaining about how fucking horrible your life is and start figuring it out. How do you, what do you got to do? How do I got to get there? This is the point I'm at now. And I want to get to this point right here. How do I get there? How do you get there? Figure it out. I, you know, I didn't have all the fucking answers. I left my relationship. I didn't have any money. I had to get a job. And then when I finally got all that, then I wanted, then I decided I wanted to leave Canada. I didn't want to be a hairdresser anymore. Hairdressing sucks. I mean, it did for me. Hairdressing doesn't suck. It's a great profession. But at that point, after 25 years for me, hairdressing sucked. I don't want to be a hairdresser anymore. Okay. What do I got to do? I don't want to be a hairdresser anymore. And I don't want to live in Canada anymore because it's cold. Winter suck. I want want to change everything. How do I, I, I don't know. I didn't know how to do any of that. I've never done any of that before in my life. So I figured it out. You figure shit out when you really want to change something. You do. You just figure it out. (sighs) I feel like I just like ranted or something. But, you know, I feel like sometimes we just need tough love. If you will. I feel like I just give out tough love. Honestly, I do. And to be, you know, to be perfectly honest, I think tough love works best because the licking the wound, oh, poor baby, oh, I'm so sorry. That doesn't work. We don't, because we love that. Oh, rub my back some more, lick my wound some more. Oh, thank you. And it's so comforting and it's so warm and it feels like a little security blanket. And we don't, that's so nice, right? All that wound licking and it's so nice. Oh, that feels so good. But you're, nothing's going to change. You're still going to be miserable when you wake up in the morning, Your wife is still going to be shitty after that person stopped wrapping you up in their blanket and licking your wounds. You're still going to feel shitty. Nothing's changed. Then you're just going to find somebody else to lick your wounds and go, oh, poor baby, I'm so sorry. How long do you want to keep doing that for? It sounds horrible. Horrible. Come on, we're better than that. We're bigger than that. We're grownups now. You're bigger than that. Stop getting people to lick your wounds. Stop talking about your fucking problems all the time. Stop talking about, oh my God, my life is bad. Oh my God. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. This is where tough love comes in. You don't need me to lick your wounds. You need me to say, hey, 
this is how you, this is where you are now. And this is where you need to be. Let's figure this shit out because there's an answer because somewhere, listen to this. I want you to listen to this somewhere in the world right now, somebody is already doing what you want to do. And they're probably making a really good living at it. Somebody is already doing what you want to do and they're thriving and living their best fucking life. Think about that for one second. Somebody's already doing it and they're happy and they're joyous and they're free. Please think about that. Listen, I'm going to drop some links down in in the description box below. I gave you a little bit of homework. I want you to, I want you to do your homework. Like I seriously want you to do that. Pick one thing and find a solution. Not an excuse. I want you to find a solution. I want you to do that. I'm going to drop some links down below. I do mindset coaching and it's tough love coaching, but it's super fucking awesome. I'm going to drop the link down to my one-on-one coaching. If you're ready, if you're ready, I mean, if you're ready to like kick your fucking life into high gear, click the link down below and let's, let's book some coaching. I have a masterclass down there. Um, my big fat fucking beautiful life masterclass. I'm just going to drop a bunch of links, check them out, see what's right for you because I know what isn't right for you. And that's living in misery. That's not right for you. That's not what you're here for. You are absolutely not here to be miserable and sad and frustrated. And that's not like, that's not what you're here for. I love you. (laughs) And I love you. It's like, I, like I really do. And that's, I think that's the funnest part about me is that I'd be in your face swearing and pointing my finger and saying, stop doing that and smarten up and blah, blah, blah. But I like, I really love you. Like I do. And I want you to live your best life. I really do. Okay. That's all I got for you. And I'll catch y'all back here again soon on to the next video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, please share. Sharing is caring. Um, And show YouTube how awesome I am by liking and subscribing and commenting and sharing and all that stuff. And then YouTube will be like, wow, this Eva chick is great. And then they'll show my stuff to more people. And it's great. Okay. Goodbye.